for a little bird. It's at about two o'clock, Ferg. A little bee eater. Look at that. This is one of my favorite birds, certainly, and it's mainly because of that little streak of blue turquoise. And it's just oh, an unsuspecting insect. Oh, oh, did you get it, Ferg? It caught a butterfly. There it is. There it is. It's still there. Oh, look at that. How awesome is this? Well, the, oh, you just threw your breakfast away. Food. <laughs> a food fight with itself. Now, that is bizarre. And the only thing that I can think to justify that behavior was that it was a foul tasting butterfly. And, oh, it's going for another one. I've lost track of it. Oh, it missed. It's back on the same perch. Well, isn't this exciting? Let's see. Let's see if we can get it in action one more time. Oh, this is going to be super tricky. I've, I've thrown Ferg <coughs> into a, into a bit of a tricky situation here. But let's see now. If he zooms out like he has, he's now a little bit more ready to stay on it. Let's see if we can't see one more aerial attack. It's certainly got more than enough prey around. There are these butterflies streaming past it. Another miss. Oh, no, it got something smaller there. And it gobbled it up. So obviously that was something a little bit more tasty. Thank you, little bee eater, for showing us such beautiful aerial displays. Okay, we're going to continue down this riverbed. Hopefully the lions will poke their heads out. But in the meantime, you're going to head up to the migration control with Mr. Henry, where he is going to be able to explain a little bit more about the lion dynamics.